Hi, Joe Winberg, Bluebird Semaphore. Uh, I have the uh, cell phone, the camera, pointed at this poem on this whiteboard. Because today I'm going to try again. I, had tr I had tried this like five months ago to videotape some of my writings. And it, it didn't work well. So I'm going to try again today. And I'm putting the poem on the whiteboard, as you can see. And then what I'm going to do is take the poem and I'm going to turn this, uh, this tripod so that the camera is on me without stopping the video. So we're going to get one fell swoop of this poem by Joe Winberg called Dreams Backwards. I'll leave it up here for a few minutes so that you can at least partially read it, maybe get through the whole thing, maybe decide that you don't want to read it. But then I'm going to take that piece of paper with the poem on it, put it in front of me, and uh, I will read it. And that will be the video. The uh, camera on the poem, then me taking the poem over here, moving the, uh, the tripod so that the camera can be on me. Okay? So I think that it's been looking into the camera long enough, this poem. So I'm going to turn the camera on me and, and then I will, uh, I will get this poem and I will read it. Now, <clears throat> here we go. So the poem is called or titled Dreams backward. In each needle of pine, fall into the loam, mixing with wild strawberries, a bow, sometimes in observance, sometimes remembering only. Whereas the years drop and death climbs outside of needles falling, the hour of dusk rains and you're on an island, dreams backwards. Before the potato farm and borers, prior to cabbage and land vestas, who gave suck to the loam. I know the island natives by the shape of their bone. His land suffered. She gave way to glory. The shellfish protected, no more dying. The island coalesces, its fish in territorial water. The first person you love is playing on an island. Rain and music join feet over sandy soil. You sit, two people, bathed in beach light. And, and that's that poem. And I'm going to end this first video, which hopefully will be the first in a series of poems, short stories, pieces of novels, all that I wrote over the years. These go back at least 30 years, the poems anyway. You could see the ancient type font. Uh, so that's it. Now I'll go see if this actually worked well enough to put up on Bluebird. Okay, thank you.